Tesla just launched some surprise discounts to every single model, Model S, Model X, Model 3, Model Y. They all got discounts. Plus, we've got some updates on the federal incentives. They're not going away entirely on the base standard range Model 3. And Tesla just officially announced and released a brand new Model Y in their online configurator that you could never officially order before. I'm usually not here sort of late at night doing videos, but we've got some breaking news we've got to cover. So let me break it down to the new price drops, what these new prices are and uh, the new incentives that are in play here to make the Model Y more affordable than it's ever been before. All right, so first up here on the Model 3 side, Tesla just dropped the price of both the Model 3 rear-wheel drive, the standard range model, and the performance model by $1,000. Making the cheapest Tesla you can buy today have an MSRP of $41,990 and the performance model at $52,990. And for those keeping tabs of the ever-changing feral tax incentives, one of the reasons this is such a big deal is because we know that on April 18th, that full $7,500 credit is going to uh, basically cease to exist on the cheapest model, and we're now learning, thanks to some new verbiage on the Tesla website, that it's going to not go away entirely, but decrease from 7,500, basically going in half to 3,750, again, mainly because of the China-made LFP battery in that car, which is not going to let it qualify for the full amount. So presumably, Tesla probably dropped that price to sort of combat the price changes that are going to happen because of the federal incentives and how they're going to shift. So basically, long story short, what you need to know is that you've got to take delivery of the standard range Model Y before April 18th if you want to uh, basically take advantage of that full $7,500. If you take delivery after the 18th and you qualify, you'll get $3,750 as the maximum. So you're missing out on a good chunk of change there on that cheapest Model 3. Still a good and, you know, competitively priced car, uh, but it's not going to be the same if you take delivery again uh, April 18th or after. Moving on to the Model S and Model X, these cars got a price decrease not too long ago, and now we've got another price decrease on these cars that brings the prices down about another 5%. That means the Model S is going to start at 84990 down from about 90000 Model S Plaid at 104990 Model X is going to start at 94990 and of course the Model X Plaid is going to be one. 104,990. So price drops here across the board of the Model S, Model X, about $5,000 on each model. Then moving on to the Model Y, a couple of cool things here. One is that Tesla dropped the price of all configurations, which is great. So discounts now on the long range model and the performance model. And also Tesla officially introduced to buy the Model Y all wheel drive. This is the dual motor model that's been being built at Giga Texas basically since that factory went online. It's the uh, all wheel drive model with the 4680 battery technology and you could buy it if you were lucky in the beginning for Tesla to contact you then it would pop up off and on in Tesla's existing inventory but you could never officially configure it with the wheels and the color and the specs you wanted well that is until now. And important to note here is that unlike the standard range Model 3, the Model Y all-wheel drive, the base model, isn't missing those creature comfort features. As far as I know, it includes things like floor mats, it's got all working interior and exterior lighting, it's got the full sound system, it even has dual motors, it's just sort of capped a bit in terms of range, it's using uh, some different battery tech, it's a little bit slower, it's a little bit heavier, I believe, don't quote me on that, uh, but you are going to get a discount for that price and save a couple of thousand dollars if you go with that standard range model, which you're given up a little bit of range, but I think for most people, still going to be a really solid offering. So pricing for the Model Y is going to look like this. The standard range Model Y all-wheel drive is going to be $49,990. Model Y long range, $52,990, down about $2,000 there. And also down $2,000 is the Model Y performance, now at $56,990. What's also very important here to know is that all models of the Model Y, including this new base model all-wheel drive model, are going to qualify for the full $7,500 tax credit under the current guidelines that aren't subject to change on the 18th, like what's going to happen with the rear-wheel drive standard range Model 3. Taken into account, that means you can actually buy a base standard range Model Y, a really great car, for about $42,500 with that federal tax incentive taken into account. A really great price for a really great car, and it's so awesome to see the Tesla is finally opening official orders for this and you can configure it to your heart's content on the Tesla website. 
And just looking at Tesla Sight, big thing here, the difference between these models is going to be the range. So on the long range model, you're looking at 330 miles of range, top speed of 135 miles an hour, and a 4.8 seconds, 0 to 60. If you go down to the base model, you're going to lose a considerable amount going down to 279-ish miles of range, 135 mile top speed, and a 5 seconds, 0 to 60. So a little bit slower on that 0 to 60 and a little bit less range, but I'm not sure for most people if... 280 versus 330 is going to be a huge deal. If you've got a reliable place to charge and you're not doing a ton of road trips, I think the 280 is going to be just fine. And if you can save yourself a couple of thousand dollars, then I'm sort of sweeten the deal and make it even better too. And I will mention that as nice as it is to see these price discounts and the new Model Y, you know, launch on the site and stuff like that is still very interesting that here in North America, you still cannot officially order the long range Model 3. Remember, this car was supposedly so popular popular that Tesla had to stop taking orders for it, at least custom orders on its website. You can still find it in existing inventory, but as was the case with this base model Y, it can be very in and very out on a moment's notice. So you really got to get lucky on when you can find it. And uh, sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. So you officially, oddly enough, cannot you know configure and officially go through the process online of ordering a new uh, long range Model 3 um, as of right now still. But every other Tesla, including now this base Model Y, can be configured to your heart's content on the Tesla website. So really cool to see uh, this new breaking news. Also, another few tidbits here worth noting is that at the same time of this flurry of news, we saw that uh, Tesla actually launched Quicksilver in Taiwan. So they're slowly starting to launch uh, some of those new colors in other international places. Uh, still no updates on new colors here in the US. That was not part of the new sweeping news. Uh, Ultra Red is still only for the S and the X. And also an interesting note here on wait times, if we take a look at the Model 3 and Model Y, just to give a little bit of a quick update, that base Model 3 going to be available in April 2023. So there's a chance that if you do want to order and take delivery before that $7,500 federal tax incentive gets halved, you've got a chance of doing that if you like order right now, because it seems like they've got a good stock of them. Long range again, April 2023 as well, but nothing's really going to change there. No big precedent or no reason to rush out. And then on the Model Y, interestingly enough, let's take a look at what the figures are for the all-wheel drive model. Looks like April to May of 2023. So obviously, uh, we've heard before that Giga Texas has been making these since that factory again went online. Uh, so you shouldn't have to wait too long to get those cars depending on where you are in the world. And long range is going to be probably the most popular Tesla model right now. You've got a window of April through June. So June at the latest, according to Tesla, and the Model Y performance April as well. So most cars have a good chance of getting to you within the next 30 to 45 days. Uh, only exceptions will be the more popular uh, long range Model Y and then the new base Model Y as well as Tesla expects probably a good uptick in sales in that. Going to be about 30 to 60 days, depending on your location, before you can take delivery of that. So that was it, guys. Just wanted to sort of break in here with some breaking news. Tesla doesn't do price drops all that much, and they don't often introduce new models on their sites. I thought I'd run through this. So that's what you need to know. Uh, if you have questions on the price, discounts, federal EV incentives, stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below. We can discuss uh, just a little quick video to go over that. Hope this was informative. If this did help you, leave a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. As always, I appreciate your support. Thanks so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld. I'll see you all in the next one.